Hey guys, it's Brian. Welcome to this Gilmore Girls phone case DIY. Gilmore Girls is one of my fave shows and I realize I don't have a phone case of it. I'm going to start with this phone case. It's flexible and it's pretty used, old and loved as you can see. You can start off with a white one, doesn't have to be like a see-through one. And random fact, this is what it looked like months ago. But I'm going to be using this vintage white acrylic paint and this brush. But yeah, I'm just going to be painting, covering the whole thing, front, sides. And I'm just going to be giving this a couple of coats till I cannot see my phone case anymore. And in between coats, this is how I'm letting it dry. Now this phone case is all about the logo and I made this image that I got online and just FYI a lot of like the images that I saw the handler of the cap was on the right when in the show is like on the left. Keep that in mind if you're not going to be using this one. This one is going to be linked down below on my blog but I'm going to be turning this into a stencil. For that I'm going to be cutting first the edges of it and then to cut the letters themselves I'm going to be using this really random press on nail box that is plastic you don't have to use this one you can use some glass as well because we're going to be basically cutting this with our cutter being really careful not to cut myself or pieces of paper that i don't want to cut so just take your time that's what i did here i'm just going to be able to show you this because my head got in the way because i was like real closed up so yeah hopefully you get the idea of what i'm doing here and yeah this happened to mine mine broke because again those spaces are really really small and delicate and sometimes this type of things happen but it's okay we can still use it and now to the fun part i'm going to be using some double-sided tape and i'm going to be taping this now stencil on where i want my logo to be on my phone it's not supposed to look perfect by any means it's just pretty much like the show itself i love it and then i'm going to trace this using a pencil and just going all around like this and this is pretty much what it looks like and now it's time to paint to paint i'm going to be using my yellow and as you can see it's not a bright yellow that one it's uh kind of like the dirty one and i'm just going to be creating that as much as i can it's tricky this one because in some like images it's just one color and in other images it's a completely different one but you just have to play around with and see what you like best for me a bit of yellow the tiniest bit of black and some of that vintage white worked and yeah i'm just going to be covering the whole coffee Mac. As I told you before, don't uh, waste your time on like tracing the letters because we're going to be covering them anyway so it's just kind of like working double because I'm going to be giving this a few coats and this is like a custom acrylic paint that I just made. I'm just going to be storing the rest on this like tiny container and I'm just going to be beginning with my leftover a few coats later once it's dry. I give this like four coats but yeah I'm just going to be putting my stencil on top again tracing all the letters and just the paper in some parts it moved so it was real hard to just go when just one stroke finish the whole thing and this is pretty much what I have for the red of letters it's not bright red so I'm just going to be mixing this red with a bit of black and I'm just going to be making my own shade of red as well for this I really recommend you to get a detailed brush and I did work in parts here just being really gentle and really detailed as much as I could working with one at the time taking a break of like five minutes and then just coming back for the next letter i just went over my vintage white to just erase as i call it some parts that i ended up painting a lot more than what i should have and then i used some crystal clear by this brand it looks super gross this one but i have it outside and i use a lot and i'm going to be using some gloves as well adding a few coats of this one just to make this design look better like shinier because the colors like pop up a lot more when i do this my paint lasts longer as well and this is what it looks like on my phone i really like it i think it looks super cool i think i did a good job in this one if i say so myself but i really like it and i've been watching uh gilmore girls for the third time and i realized i didn't have a gilmore girls phone case i do have one of friends well actually two of them and i'm missing one from will and grace but i can't think of anything cool for will and grace so that's why i haven't done that those are my three all-time favorite shows i think that's it but yeah, I really like this one. Hopefully you did too. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my shelf for more stuff I upload weekly. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.